So now we're going to go over how to create routines um, for your Google Assistant. So routines can be used to basically complete multiple actions at one time. So you don't have to, you know, repeat a list of actions to your assistant. You know, if this is something you kind of do every day, you can go ahead and just make a routine for it if you want to. So the example of a routine we're going to make today is basically I have three, you know, sets of smart lights downstairs. I have some in the kitchen, some in the dining room, and some in the family room. And when I tell the Google Assistant to turn off the downstairs lights, I want it to turn off all of those lights in those rooms. So instead of having to tell my Google Assistant to turn off the dining room lights and then turn off the kitchen lights and then turn off the family room lights, I just want to create a routine that says turn off the downstairs lights. So when I say that command to the Google Assistant, it'll turn off all three of those rooms that have smart lights in it. So to go ahead and do that, you want to access your Google Assistant settings. And you can kind of do that in two ways. If you have the Google Home app here, you can just open it up, which you can see I'm already in, tap on the user in the top right, and tap on Assistant Settings. If you don't have the Google Home app and you just mainly use the Assistant on your phone, phone and don't have any like Nest Home devices or Google Home devices, to get to Assistant Settings, just pull up your Assistant and say, Show me assistant settings. Opening assistant. And there you go. It'll open your assistant settings so you're on the same page as we were before. So let me just go back here. So you can see under popular settings, there's routines. If you don't see it here, just scroll through this long list until you see routines. there it is. From here, you can see any of your routines that you have already created, even some of your shortcuts. You can see the home and away routines are here as well. Um, but you can go ahead and adjust any of these kind of ones you might already have and edit them or delete them. Um, also, some of these are created kind of by Google. So there's like the good morning one and stuff. So you might already see these here, even though you haven't created any, and you can go and edit those if you want to, and you can kind of see how it's laid out and what you can do, but we're going to go ahead and make our own from scratch. So I'm going to tap new and I'm going to go ahead and First, we want to do the top section here of how to start. It says, choose a voice command or a time. So this is what will trigger this routine to happen. So I'm going to tap on add start. And you can see we have kind of three options here. We can do it by our own custom voice command that we want to add. We can do it kind of by time on a schedule. So I'll just show you that real quick. You can select the time here at the top. You can have it repeat on certain days of the week. Um, you can get notified when the routine starts or stops. So if you have something that you don't want to have to talk to your assistant in order to trigger this routine, you just want it to happen at, say, you know, 9 a.m. every morning, you can do that. Or maybe you only want it to happen on weekdays and not the weekends. You can do that if you want to. Um, but we're not going to do that because we want to do it by voice. You can also do by sunrise and sunset. You can see it kind of looks the same. So you can go ahead and mess around with those if you want to and see what kind of works best for you. Um, but we're going to do a voice command. So when I tap on voice command, it asks me to input the phrase that I want to use. So when I tell the Google Assistant to turn off the downstairs lights, um, it's going to turn off all three of those rooms. So that's what we want to go ahead and use as our phrase. Um, so we can do turn off the downstairs lights. We can also add another phrase so we can have multiple phrases here. So maybe I can say turn off the first floor lights.
So whether I say turn off the downstairs lights or turn off the first floor lights, it's going to go ahead and trigger this routine that we're creating. Again, I can add more phrases if I want to. I can delete the phrases also if I want to, but we're going to leave it with these two. I'm going to select done. And I will say your phrases um, typically will work just fine, um, but sometimes with certain phrases and stuff like that, Google doesn't um, either doesn't understand you well or tries to go and do something else when you try to trigger this routine. So if your phrase doesn't um, seem to really be triggering this routine, once you've had it all set up, you can go ahead and change that if you want to. You can also, again, add another starter if you want to. So again, if you want this to also run on a schedule while also having a voice command to trigger it, you can go ahead and do that. You can have multiple starters. We're just gonna leave it with the one starter um, with those two phrases that we can say. But again, you can customize the routine any way you want. Now the next part is, um, what is this routine gonna do? So when I say turn off the downstairs lights, what do I want my Google Assistant to do? So we're gonna go ahead and tap add action. And here you have a bunch of different options. Whoops, sorry about that. So here you have a bunch of different options um, that you can go ahead and play around with, right? Like get info and reminders. Um, adjust assistant volume, adjust phone settings, play media. You can even add your own, um, which we'll go over real quick. So if none of these categories work for you, um, you can just have add your own. And this is basically what you would say to the Google Assistant um, in order to do one of these actions. Again, you can add multiple actions, right? That's kind of the whole point of a routine. So if I was doing this this way, um, I would type in turn off the kitchen lights and I'd click done and that's one of my actions, right? And I would add another action and I'd say turn off the dining room lights, click done. And then I would go create a third one that said to turn off the family room lights and then click save. So you can do it that way. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, if you're doing something else that doesn't fit into one of these other sections here, you can go ahead and just add it your own um, by saying what you would normally say to the Google Assistant to get that one specific action to work. Um, but for us, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, if I hit the edit button here, I'm going to delete those because we're going to do it a little differently. I'm going to click add action and we can actually adjust um, home devices. So if you have smart thermostats or smart lights, um, like I have what we're using in this example, you can just use it in this way. So we're going to say adjust home devices. And we're gonna, for me, I wanna adjust the lights, right? So we're gonna choose this top option here. We're gonna check it and then tap the arrow. And then you can see I have all my individual uh, hue lights here. Um, they're not, you can see they have the room in front of them and then the actual name of the light after that. So I'm gonna have to do this for each individual light that's in the dining room or in the family room or in the kitchen. So. We can see the dining room starts here, and I'm gonna tap on the first one, first individual light bulb. These are Philips Hue lights, um, and click turn off. Okay, so now if I were to run this routine, it's only gonna turn off that one light bulb. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all the ones in the dining room. There, there's all the ones for the dining room. Next, I'm gonna do the family room ones. And now I'm gonna do all of the kitchen ones. Great, and those are all of the light bulbs I have on the first floor. Now, if you have smart light switches instead of smart light bulbs, right, 
Um, so you have one switch, say, in your dining room that controls all five of those lights. Um, then you would just have one option here, right? You don't have individual light bulbs. But since I use Philips Hue smart bulbs, um, I can actually turn individual light bulbs on and off. So that's why I have to click through all these different light bulbs. So depending on how you have your setup, it may be a little different. So I'm going to click Done. And I'm going to tap Done again. And there we go. I have all of those um, light bulbs to turn off when I trigger the phrase or when I tell the Google Assistant the phrase, turn off the downstairs lights. It'll turn off all of those lights. Okay. Now, I can always come back to this screen um, just by going to Assistant Settings, jumping in Routines, and selecting this routine. Um, and then I can tap on this and edit those again if I want to. And again, I can add another action that can adjust more smart home devices and things like that. Um, so that's just kind of uh, an example of wh what you can do. And I'm going to tap Save. And once I do that, we're brought back to the screen and you can see the first uh, phrase I have there is the title of it, turn off the downstairs lights. So whenever I do that, it's going to go ahead and turn off the downstairs lights whenever I say that to the Google Assistant. So that's one example of a routine. Now, what if I wanted to turn on the downstairs lights um, by just one routine kind of doing the same thing here? I would have to create a whole separate new routine um, and go in and adjust those lights to turn on instead of off and change my phrase to turn on the downstairs lights instead of turn off the downstairs lights. Um, so you would have to kind of go ahead and do that. So that's how you create a routine um, in the Google Home app or um, through your assistant settings on your phone. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and click that red subscribe button to get more videos like this one on how to make technology work better for you. Thanks.